Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me and in this video I will be sharing with you the reasons which inspired me to join the Show of Strength this year. The Show of Strength is a bodybuilding and fitness a physique competition that is organized by the Singapore Federation of Bodybuilders as well as the one in the Philippines and it is IFBB sanctioned, so it is sanctioned by the International Federation of Bodybuilders. It is extremely prestigious and they hold competitions basically all around the world and these are my reasons on what inspired me to join. So sometime at the end of 2018, I was just scrolling through my phone Instagram and I came across the Show of Strengths website and I realized that they were holding a bodybuilding and physique competition in Singapore. Um, sometime at the end of 2018, I think it was October 2018. And there was just something about the show that caught my attention. I've been asked to join many pageants before, you know, most of them are like beauty pageants and stuff like that, but something was just missing, you know, so I, I didn't join any actually, uh, to the best of my memory. But there was just something about the show of strength and bodybuilding that caught my attention. I couldn't put my finger on what exactly it was, so I decided that, you know what, I have to attend it and just see what's going on. So I went for the show and I was completely transfixed and glued to my seat from start to end. You know, at first glance, it seems as if it's this physical flash parade display of physical strength, you know, and, and it is, but it takes, it, it took, took me a few moments for me to realize the amount of sheer dedication, discipline, mindfulness, commitment, and rigor, you know, I can't even imagine that is actually involved in for a person to transform physically to look in that way, you know, and it required a lot of internal change, a lot of um, emotional strength, a lot of focus, um, and that really spoke to me because I'm a wellness coach, I manage Serenity Secrets, and I coach my clients on confidence building, empowerment, mindfulness, attracting success, holistic well-being, um, confidence, you know, everything like that. So there was just something about the show of strength and bodybuilding that brought everything together for me and I decided there and then that I want to be on that stage I want to try bodybuilding and I want to see where it takes me you know just the thought of it made me so excited because I'm always excited to to learn new skills and what more to put myself to give myself the opportunity to really practice what I preach to my clients you know and uh, with bodybuilding it's a very visible uh, visual um, experience as well because the change is very apparent physically and that is I find it very powerful because it really catches people's uh, attention and it helps you to use it I mean it can be used as a platform rather you know on for you to actually speak about transformation you know so that was how I got started with bodybuilding so I engaged a fitness coach um, Alex Betts and I'll attach his profile below he has been an amazing coach and I'll speak more about what kept me going with bodybuilding for more than a year now. This competition is really open to people of all ages, you know, whether or not you're a man or you're a woman. And regardless of whether or not you're in your 20s or 30s or 40s or 50s or 60s, you're still welcome to join. And in that sense, it really was a celebration of life, you know, the celebration of the human form at any age. And to me, that was such a beautiful, wonderful thing, you know, because many pageants these days, they do have certain prerequisites, you know, and for many, you have to be a certain age, otherwise you're not allowed to join. You know, um, whether it's a modeling competition or whether it's a beauty pageant, many of them have got these um, sort of limitations. And I feel that, I felt that bodybuilding, um, more specifically the show of strength, did not have such... Um, restrictions you know and that itself I found very empowering because it was really a celebration of life you know and it was really aligned with my belief system of what it means to be beautiful that you can be beautiful you can be strong and you can celebrate life celebrate victories and celebrate success at any age. I am 37 this year and I used to be married no longer am so I separated divorced whatever you want to call it you know, and I'm just one example of someone joining a competition like this at this age. You know, I don't really relate to age. And many of the participants of the Show of Strength and Bodybuilding competitions in general 
are actually people who have been married with kids, you know, both men and women. Some of them have got a few kids even, you know, and you would never guess their age from the way they look. And I just found it so intriguing, you know, because I've coached many people and many of them who have come to me, um, some of them really have got low self-esteem and they really have got this self-limiting belief system that after a certain age, you can't do certain things or after you've got kids, you, you let yourself go and, and stuff like that, you know. And I think the show of strength and bodybuilding in general really is an example of how this doesn't have to be the case, that you can actually look strong, beautiful, gorgeous at any age, you know, and really celebrate victory after victory, personal victories, personal transformations, and really challenge yourself positively and live it up, you know, and enjoy life. You know, life is meant to be exhilarating, exciting, and transformational, you know, and age is not a factor. So that was a big plus point for the show of strength for me and for bodybuilding in general. That was really, that is very appealing. Another reason which really kept me going with bodybuilding was also because it really challenged me in so many different ways. And, um, Sometime this year, early this year, I actually sent out various proposals to some of the gyms in Singapore, asking them if they would like to collaborate with me and partner with me while I prepared for the show of strength um, and this IFBB competition. You know, and I asked if they would be interested in partnering and collaborating. You know, in exchange for some social media marketing on my part because I do collaborate with various um, companies aligned with beauty and wellness. And what happened was one of the gyms actually took my business proposal and sort of misconstrued it and sent out a Facebook post stating that I was demanding for free services and stating that I was basically asking to be paid to be trained, which really wasn't the case because I was just putting forth a business proposal where there was an exchange, you know, I was going to be helping them with their marketing of their gym and of their training facilities and um, personal trainers or whoever was going to help me prepare for the competition or whatever in exchange, you know. And there would of course be a certain cost involved as well on the part of the gym because of the videography and photography involved. Okay, so to cut a long story short, basically there was a lot of hate that was spread online. And um, one of the gym's representatives, she basically took pictures of me and the proposal and she put it on her Facebook account and then passed a series of disparaging remarks on my appearances, you know, saying that, I don't know, who do I think I am, um, and stuff like that, you know, and then there was a lot of hate sp spread online about me, about how ugly I looked, there were comments about how my mother should shoot me, um, about how I should go and have like a nose uh, rhinoplasty, which I may have, you know, but not because of that comment, and um, how I should kill myself and stuff like that. So it got spread pretty quite rampantly online and there were a lot of people who basically joined in the hate without really understanding the context of social media marketing and they were just spreading all these remarks about me, you know. And at that juncture I did think to myself, you know, should I just stop, you know. But I did realise at the same time that if I stop, what was the message I would be sending out, you know, because I am after all a wellness coach. And I teach people to be confident in themselves and to believe in their dreams and to not let fears stop them and to not let doubt stop them and definitely to not let the critics stop them, you know, from doing what they are meant to do. So I decided to continue despite that. So I was really interested in using even that hate, that online hate, as a teachable moment, you know, in teaching, and I've been teaching for coming to 14, 15 years now. I've taught at tertiary institutes, I've conducted workshops on confidence building, and I still teach proposal writing, you know, resume writing skills, proposal writing skills, ironically, that's what I teach. And um, yeah, workshops on presentation and stuff like that. You know, and I've encountered many students who have faced such problems, you know, cyberbullying, and online hate and many of them sink into depression many of them end up becoming suicidal even you know 
And I told myself that if I can use or make an example out of myself on how I can still do whatever I want to do, and despite this, then I would be a good role model to my students. And that was what Serenity Secrets is about, basically, you know, living an empowered life. So I used it as a teachable moment, so to speak. And I decided to continue to go to the gym, you know. There were times where I would receive hate even as I was walking out there on the streets, you know, there would be people saying, Serene Martin, you know, who does she think she is? And stuff. People who didn't understand the context, you know, even at the gym, I would receive stares and I continued to lift the weights. I didn't care. You know, all I had in my mind was that vision of joining the show of strength and building myself up, building my body up, building my mind up and continuing to coach, continuing to help my clients and inspire my students. So I just took it in, took it in basically, and I just told myself that this is making me stronger and that was it, you know, you just ignore the noise and you push on, you know. So bodybuilding was a beautiful, fantastic platform for me to really practice that skill of building up my mind, my body, my spirit despite what was going on in the external world, you know, and I'm so glad I didn't stop, you know. So that was part of uh, what happened along the way and part of the adventure really, you know. And um, I think what was so amazing was a lot of the hate that was being spread, most of the hate was being spread. These are adults who are saying these things, you know, you should kill yourself, you're so ugly, uh, the most, you're the ugliest woman I've seen, you know, stuff that was totally out of context, you know, and what I really was appalled by was the fact that, you know, these are comments that could drive a young kid or could drive a person. If a person doesn't have, have sufficient self-esteem, your comment, you know, and you, the hate that you're spreading online could actually drive this person into depression, into suicide, you know, and I didn't want to contribute to that problem and I didn't want to uh, be part of the problem, you know, so I decided to continue. Another thing which I appreciate a lot about bodybuilding and joining a competition like this is the fact that it is also a lesson of in, in self-love and self-acceptance and also it challenges me and I think people to sort of deal with certain stereotypes, especially when it comes to women and the idea of beauty. So. In the process of training, I did receive a lot of comments from both men and women, you know, and I remember this comment that was made by this guy online. And he actually sent me a message, you know, because I frequently post pictures of myself, sometimes training at the gym and stuff like that. And he actually said, Serene, I think you should not lift so much of weights because I think I like you curvy and this is the way I like you. I think you look good like this and um, I don't like women looking too big, you know. And my response to him was that, thank you for your comments, you know, but um, this is my body, this is my life, and I'm lifting weights, you know, I'm transforming my body because of how I want my body to be and how I want to look, you know, and I'm, I'm not doing it, I'm not lifting weights so that I can appear more attractive to men, you know. And I received similar comments as well when I went for my breast augmentation surgery, in um, Seoul, um, Korea, earlier this year, there were men who actually remarked, and even women, you know, who actually said that um, it's very insecure of you to want to do this just so that you can please someone, so that you can appear more attractive to someone else. You know, I think people should stop assuming that a woman does certain things, you know, whether it's training her body, lifting weights, or going for plastic surgery, or wearing a certain outfit. I think people should stop assuming that we do these things so that we can please you or so that we can please someone else, you know. A woman lifting weights at the gym, she's not just a sex object. She's not just a lump of meat that is doing something so that she can be pleasing to somebody else's eye, you know. Perhaps she's lifting weights because she wants to lift weights, because it challenges her, because she has got her own personal goals, because she wants to have her own fun, you know. I think in this day and age, we should really challenge traditional ideas of what it means to be a woman, what it means to be a man, you know, and just allow people the freedom to be who they want to be without putting them into this box, you know. 
and without um, just sexualizing everything when it doesn't have to be. You know, I feel like the human body should be celebrated, you know, whether you're a man or whether you're a woman, it should be celebrated in all forms, you know, and people should be free to just be who they want to be. And again, bodybuilding is an excellent platform to celebrate that. So that brings me to the end of this sharing. And I have to say that it has been an incredibly meaningful journey, you know, um, starting this whole bodybuilding adventure. And I'm definitely going to do it for as long as it makes sense to me, because so far it has made total sense to me. And um, the win is really in the process, you know, it's in the day-to-day -day adventures, it's in the day-to-day -day growth. You know, as cliche as it sounds, it really is in the process, you know, when you actually realize how much you can transform from the inside out, from the outside in, you know, and when you really challenge yourself to do better every day. And in this sense, it is, it is everything, you know, it is the food that you eat, the amount of water that you drink, the amount of negativity or positivity that you allow into your mind, you know, the kind of company that you keep, do they uplift your spirits? Everything really affects your progress. And I totally appreciate the journey. And I'm also deeply thankful to the people who have supported me along the way. This is not just about me, this is about you. And I'm doing this so that I'm sharing this, you know, because I also want to inspire people really. All my life, all I've ever desired to do as a wellness coach of serenity secrets, you know, and even teaching yoga and teaching empowerment and mindfulness, all I really dreamed of doing and still dream of doing and still want to do for the rest of my life is to be in a position where I can share with people and tell them, if I can do it, so can you, you know, whatever your circumstances, you know, even if you're feeling like you're the only one in the world who believes in what you do, even if you've got the whole world hating on you, and whatever, whatever rut that you're stuck in, you can overcome it, you know? And I just want to be an example of that, you know? So November 3rd, 2019, I ended up winning, in my category, first place, bikini uh, fitness, at the Show of Strength Philippines, and second place in the bikini open category, competing with athletes from all over the world, and the Philippines have been so wonderful to me. The people there are so genuine, so sincere. I definitely want to visit the Philippines again. And this is so much more than just the trophy and the win and the six-pack abs or whatever. You know, it's been really such a wonderful personal growth journey for me. And I hope my story inspires you. Thank you to everyone who supported me, and thank you so much to Alex Betts, who has been the fitness coach that stuck with me from start to end. I appreciate you so much, as well as all my loved ones who have been with me along the way. Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon.